just in time I caught the start of the game. Hello there and welcome back to some more Spyro Reignited Trilogy. What? Yes, it's me. I'm downstairs, so if the sound sounds different, it's because it is different. Um, everyone in their granny starts with Spyro the Dragon 1, so I guess I'll start with Spyro the Dragon 1. I'm going to be playing all three in a row and like those charlatans in the world of dragons. Okay, rolling. Uh, uh, oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure. Or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat? Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Like I've got some things to do. <laughs> so all of this could have been avoided if you just didn't call him ugly, you stupid bastards. The adventure begins. Okay, right. So first of all, let me run around in circles to make sure that things aren't lagging out and breaking horribly. Get some effects on the screen. Okay, seems good. Alright, so, sound, please. Oh, I could turn the original music on. I don't need to. I'm going to play with the, uh, with the actual, you know, sounds on that the game shipped with, like the, the new one. Hello. Rescued Nestor. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Okay. Sorry, one more thing. I'm going to set the frame rate to unlimited. And then put V-Sync on. I shouldn't, uh, actually I shouldn't have to put V-Sync on because I have a G-Sync monitor, but I don't know that this works, so I'm going to leave it. And hopefully it plays okay. Anyway, thank you for the healing. I'm going to put the map on because it just makes my life easier. Also, got to change the controls to be inverted Y. If I can. Camera. Invert camera Y. Yes. Yes, please. Thank you. Much better. Right. Plane controls. They've ruined me forever. Hello, Daryl Bin. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch you! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Okay, so, yeah, the eagle-eyed of you may know that I've actually played this before. Um, oh, phone call, be back. Sorry about that. Always when I start recording, people start phoning for bullshit reasons. Anyway, I spent more time uh, in the pause menu than the actual game. Anyway, I've been played this game before. Get roasted. Um, but I played the original PS1 version. Obviously, this game was not even a pipe dream in my mind when I uh, 
first played it. I can't remember when it was. It was like five years ago or maybe even more than that. I've been on this website. Some people call it a health site. Yeah. <laughs> it's debatable. I've, I've been on this website for like over ten years. So it's hard to know exactly when I started playing it. Sorry, friend. You're dead. Yeah, but I'm going to play Spyro 1, 2, then 3. 3 is probably my favourite one. Because that's the one I played when I was a child. I played all of 3. Hmm. Okay. So I've got to figure out how to do me glide again. I thought you pressed triangle to do a little upwards flitty flit, but maybe not. Hmm. I'm going to have to figure it out, so if I do a running jump... Right, let me practice then. Or maybe I have to learn it or something. Mm. I forget exactly how this game works. But either way, let me go get all the gems in the overworld first. You silly bitch. Bye. Now I've got to get used to platforming in this game again. Yep. There you go. Lovely. Now I need to... Is there a quick yes? Select is a quick way to look at the guidebook. The guidebook shows you everything there is to see. Come in. Bastard. Yeah, it shows you everything there is to see in terms of, you know, getting gems, how many gems there are. This one is a uh, do do five jumps without touching the water sort of situation. Anyway, let's go through the rest of the world. Those sheep uh, give you life. Which is why you want to use them. What's this? It's a flower that I've burned. Fuck your beauty. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still thinking that I should be able to make this jump. There we go. Skill point. What's that about? Reach tricky platform. Oh, okay. Oh, it's for doing like certain in-game achievements. That's fine. I'm not going to get all of them, but I will get 100% gems. If that means that I end up getting 100% because that's how it works, then fine. If not, then it doesn't matter. Hello. Argus. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. That melon looks quite plasticky, but in general, the graphics of this game are really quite good. I enjoy it a lot. It's faithful to the original, while obviously upgrading the graphics in a non-zero way. Tomas. Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Found all the dragons. Thank you. Alright, let's find all the gems now and then we can move on with our lives. Each episode is going to be an hour long, as I always do. It's not the content that works the best for YouTube, but it's the content that I like making, so screw it. That's what I'm going to do. If you wanted someone who's the same as everyone else, you'd watch everyone else, surely. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Thank you very much. So that. Okay, so now I need to do some more platforming. Onto these platforms. Oh, go up here. There. You might see comparisons to what I used to do in the old game and what I do here. It's probably the same shit. Oh, you can press X to slow your descent. 
although you don't go forward anymore, you start slowing down. So you can do that to sort of slow yourself down, which is pretty neat. Damn you. Fine. I'll go again. Whee! There we are. Thank you. 100 out of 100. So let's do the flying level first, because the flying levels are always the worst. Let's just get out, that out of the way straight away. That's what I'm going to do for every world. I'll find the flying level and then do it. Okay, here we go. Entering sunny flight. So the way this works is that you fly around in like, you know, like Star Fox 64, like that was for European territories. Basically, you do that and you have to go around and destroy all the objectives in one run. So you have to get all of them in one go. I don't remember the correct way of doing this, but I'll figure it out again in due course. That's all the barrels fly through here. So this is already wrong because you don't want to be wasting time basically at all. But I'll go through these gates now and see what we get. Oh, there's also these planes. Okay. So while I'm here, we'll destroy the planes at the same time. find them. Oh, I missed it. I got one. Okay, come here. There. Then we continue. Alright. Running on time. So I might not do it this time, but that's okay. It's a good practice. If this is the final task I had to do, it would probably be okay. And that's the next one. If you fall in the water, you lose. I probably could have done it, actually. So, this time, let's do chests first, because that's where I died. So I usually tend to change my approach. When I die, I'll do that first instead. Probably a reason why it gave me trouble. Okay, in the middle. Can't fly out like that, gotta fly out like this. Okay, now we just do the same thing we just did with the trains and that. Hope that we make it in time. If I go a bit faster with the planes, it should be good. Right, fly straight out here, back to the gate. Bit of an acute angle, but it's fine. Don't think there's a way to fly faster. There's a way to almost die. Like a pleb. I didn't die though. A bit better on the planes. If that one hit, that would have been good, but oh well, it's fine. Doesn't really matter. Here we go. Now, in the situation, like I said, where the gates are the last ones, so we should be good. They take a bit longer than three seconds to fly to. Some of them do. There we go. Thank you. Why has that one not got a tick next to it? Hmm. 
No, I've got all of the... I've got 100% level complete. Now, I don't remember whether it's this game or Spyro 2 where you get, like, secondary objectives after you finish the main one. So basically, I'm just going to have a little quick fly around and see if there's a person around. Actually, I can check the guidebook because the guidebook does tell you. Yeah, it would say, like... Um, I think it's Spyro 2 or 3 because it's like, there's, like, a secret egg or, like, a secret... Whatever. On the area. Okay, so I can leave. In this game, if you leave, it saves your progress no matter what you did. But we always want to do it all in one go, obviously. Okay. Right, so that's that level done. So now the flight level's done. I guess we'll just go around every level and do it as we see fit. So this was the first one. No point killing enemies again once you've killed them. Unless you want to farm up uh, lives. Because this game does have lives. Entering Stone Hill. I've always liked this uh, cutscene for loading. It loads and then you fly in the level. That's really cool. My computer is showing its age. But then again, I put it on a hard drive and not a solid state drive, so that probably doesn't help. Either way. Here we are. Red gems are worth 1, green gems are worth 2, blue gems are worth 5, and purple gems are worth 20. I believe is how it works. Hello. Rescued Gavin. You're at, Gav. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Spyro doesn't know what the hell he's gotten himself into. Okay, so this is the locked chest. There are chests made of metal that obviously fire doesn't do anything to, because fire, unless it's like ridiculously hot, can't melt metal. So you charge into them, you just break them with your skull, because for some reason that works. Who knows why. Also, I like having the map, because although some of the maps get quite complicated, it lets me know the sort of areas I've been to and haven't been to. Yet. Okay, very much. So these boxes, you can break them with your face. Like that. You don't get anything special for doing it all in one go. It just feels good. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, yeah. Linda. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Thank you. So when the fairy spits on you, like that, that's when you save. Thank you. Alright, now this way. I'll have a quick look in a minute how many gems there are in the level. So the life. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! Alright, so that's the go home button. We don't need to go home right now though. We've got more dragons to find. The game gives you a message when you found all the dragons. It also gives you a message when you found all of the. Ignore him. When you uh, when you get all the gems. Screw, screw off, wizards. It's all pretty much very uh, faithful to the original. Fire is your friend. For the early part of the game, fire just kills everything. Eventually it stops killing everything, but it's still pretty good. Alright then. Killed us. Spyro, my friend. How about a hint yes, on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, 
press the jump button at the top of your jump and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. Okay, so this is this is pre-glide Spyro. You got it. I just want to see if I can get over there. Nope. Spyro kind of drops like a stone. This glide isn't that good. I guess his wings aren't very powerful yet. Bless him. Alright, anyway, here's where that guy is going, Nino and Nino. You're going to hear Nino and Nino a lot. These are thieves. They persist through all of the games, I believe. Don't ask me why, but they do. You thought I was going to miss this, didn't you? Nah, not me. Okay. Yeah, so those thieves, they run away, and they always hold something. Sometimes it's gems, and in Spyro 3 it's eggs. These are invisible wall barriers. I'll show you. In the old, you know, the PS1 game, it just stopped you. It didn't have a little effect. But it's still, it's still good. Sort of like some semblance of explanation as to why you can't just run through into these fields and do what you want. Anyway, let's go chase this thief down and kill him. Come here, mate. So you have to basically cut the corner shallower than he's doing to gain speed on him. And then hit him with the old uh, fire. This guy had an egg. Now I saw a chest behind the wall. Bosh. It's five. So I'm missing 31 gems. Okay, so this is where the hunt begins. Either for bits of level you haven't been to, which is possible, or to a part of a level that you haven't seen. Okay, so there's nothing in this room I haven't been to before. So yes, 31 gems left. I'm 93% complete with the level. I'm not leaving the levels until I get 100% in every level. Can I go? No, let's return home. Is there a ledge? Aha! The map's helping me again. Ooh. There's the key. Now, if that box has 12 gems in it, which seems like an odd number of gems to have in a box, but that's fine. We'll give it a go. We'll see what's in it. Hiya! Key. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay. So. Now the true hunt begins. The, the people that separate the, the wheat from the chaff, you know. I'm missing two gems, which means I'm missing a green somewhere. Could be as easy as an enemy I haven't killed. Or it could be behind a post, or on a wall, or anything. Alright, first thought is that it's on the upper ridge, somewhere that I've not been to. Does this have the... It does. Oh, there, it's in that box. Okay. So, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm pressing L3, and Sparks sort of um, moves and points to the direction that the gems are in. Like he has gem vision or something. But I was right. I missed one out in the field. Thank you. 100% level or complete. I got my egg, I got the four dragons, I got the gems. Alright, now we can return home. Whee! Good. 
600 gems so far. I think it's like 10,000 in the game. Okay, so now we'll go over here. If I press this, I've got three levels. It won't show me if I've missed any levels. I can't remember if it does eventually or if it never does. Whee! Town Square. Entering Town Square. Yes. Okay, here we go. Already the maps are getting a little bit more complicated. Also, Sparks is the one that helps you get the gems like a magnet. Oh yeah, Nils. to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. What if I was playing with a mouse? The base still says right stick. I mean, the game was made for the PlayStation 1 and used a controller back then, so I guess most people who are going to play this are going to play with a keyboard, I mean, with a controller, not with a keyboard mouse. Those chests are special. They pop a gem out of the top of them. And you have to catch it. Before it pops back in. Devlin. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I have the worst that say the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? I know it is an A, but it looks like Thonk Spyro. <laughs> Be gone. You. Where are you? I'll kill you with my own hands, you swag. Right, hello. Alvar. See a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run. <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. There we go. Ooh, oh, yeah, yellow ones are worth 10. I was thinking which ones are worth 10. It's like Zelda rules. Except reds are worth 20 in Zelda. Anyway, we've got to get onto that ledge over there, somehow. So let me think about that for a second. I know it involves this to some degree, like doing a, like a fly round. But I need to get even higher if I can. I think it's like this. Yeah, just, just with a better jump. I don't know that you should, yeah, I don't think you see the achievements I get, but that was an achievement I just got. I like the way these guys look. Also, you sneaky bitch. You're gonna hide these for me, are ya? Hmm? I don't freaking think so, buddy. Ding ding. Okay. Nice easy jump. Here's another new kind of chest. You spin it, you spin it, you spin it, and then it blows up. And there are physics, so you can destroy things like that. Hello. Thor. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook in the pause menu. He's a junk. Wait, did I... I just straight up missed that box, I don't know why. Hello. A 
caught you from an angle you weren't expecting. Haha. -ha. Right, so this is uh, me having to go around the level again. That's fine. The level's not long. Most of the levels in the game aren't actually that long. They're quite condensed. Okay, so I've got to practice jumping at the top of my jump because that's going to get me killed in later levels if I don't do it right. Yeah, I guess I, guess I just missed one. Hmm. Thank you. Complete. Off we go. I'm not trying to speedrun it or anything. I'm just playing. Just the levels aren't that long for now. Yes. Thank you. So where... So what's my... Uh, Stonehill. Oh, I see. Okay. That's, it's just for like bragging rights. If it if it did something like five percent extra movement speed or something, that'd be incredible. Obviously, it would break the game entirely. But that's not my problem, is it? Anyway, into the garden maze. To the dark hollow. I might be able to get world one done today. Dark hollow. Yes. It's a nighttime level. Okay. Uh, I think the reignited songs were composed by the same person who made the original ones. I can't remember his name. I keep thinking Mark something, but I'm probably wrong. So I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to upset, you know, misinformation and all that. But I know that he's a very talented composer. Alright, that's the, the chest. So when they're holding their shields out, obviously fire won't do anything. That's when you just burn them. Alvin. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Thanks. Actually useful gameplay advice. Who'd have thunk it? You wait for them to attack and then you kill them. You go, you run in straight head first, you'll get killed. The fogs are what give you power this time. Okay, there was some stuff. There is, is some stuff even up there. Okay, that one. There's one on the other side too. You might have seen those two little pips above Spyro's head. That's the progress towards the next life bomb, killing enemies you've already killed. Okay. I know I'm moving the camera around a bit weirdly, but then I understand what I'm doing, so. Hello, Darius. Gonna smack me with the ult, are ya? Shit. Big enemies like this north with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame, that should defeat them. Yeah, that's the other, the other thing. The shields, good against fire, bad against charge. Large lads, in general, bad against fire, good against charge. So this time, you have to hit him. When his back's turned. There you go. Bye bye. Now, if I remember, like, the key's in here somewhere. There it is. 
level seems like it won't have 200 gems, but it probably does have it. Maybe it has 150. Hello, Oswin. You at? Psst. Spyro. Yes. Want to know a secret? Sure. Use the action button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, oh your secret's safe with me. Oh, it's got 100. Okay, so there might be 11 in the box, in which case we're good to go. Yeah, some levels are short. Some get long. Some are, I can't remember what the most one level has. This is like 300 or something. There we go. Open. Shmezami. Looks good. You son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Did I miss one down in here? Ah. There we go. There's no thief in this level. Not every level has one. Let's leave. I, I think I could just press exit and leave, but I like leaving from the actual level exit because it feels more proper. home. Yes. There are like four worlds in the game. Each one obviously longer than the last one, but the game takes probably about six hours to complete. If you play an hour long chunks and you don't die all the time. There's a couple of caveats. Now this is the, the way to the next world. So I can't go there. I'm just thinking if there's any levels I've missed. I don't think so. Four for world one seems like, or five, for, no, four for world one seems like it could be the case. Hmm. Okay. Open. Trusty. Confronting Toasty. levels also have gems and they're usually actually quite a lot excuse me oh I see like I was saying fire is pretty good to begin with but it doesn't kill everything in one hit so because the dogs weren't dying in one shot I was getting very confuzzled but now I get it right come on hey need some sheepies or something. Are you gone? Oh, let's go down this side path. You cheeky little shit. Trying to give me the old uh, round the corner dog action. Ow, I'm dead. I got hit a lot. So when you die, all the enemies respawn. But as long as you remember what you killed and what you didn't, uh, there is no danger. You basically lose nothing. There. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. things. Get the, the gems back to give me more life. Anyway. Rescued Nevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. 
Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Kill. Yeah, you've got to do a little, like, air fire. Come here. Heathen. Damn it. Fucking dogs. Bosh. Burnt toast. That's the achievement I just got. down there. Okay. You got it. Sparks is hurting. Through there even. Uh oh! No, no, no. Okay, good. If you lose Sparks, obviously he can't tell you where the gems are. Anymore. Oh. I'm just a pleb. Okay. Pleb strategy is fine. I don't mind being a pleb. I can't remember if the original Spyro 1 had this ability. I know Spyro 2 did. There was like a hidden ability, you'd never get told. Defeat Toasty without getting hit by him. Oh, I didn't get hit by Toasty. So that's why I got the achievement. Okay. Does that count as a skill point? No. I guess it's very easy to not get hit by him. Okay, so Artisan's World is 100%. Onward to World 2. Hello. Wow. Whoa. I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's World if you like. Are you ready to go? I am. Let's go. Boom. Take a trip with the balloonist. Entering the peacekeeper's world. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time when we explore World 2. Goodbye.